Uh, my name is Greg Witt uh, with Raven Industries. I'm a precision application specialist for North Dakota and South Dakota. Uh, here we're going to talk a little bit about our, our multi-hybrid uh, uh, planner here. We've been working with SDSU, partnering with SDSU the, the, this spring to, to work on this project. We're very excited about it. Uh, SDSU has kind of asked us to help them out on the technology side to, to assist with them and, and they brought the hardware together with us and uh, um, we're kind of going to go over the, the nuts and bolts of it here and kind of answer some questions as we go along here. Uh, nuts and bolts of it, we've got an independent drive on every row. This is a, a Monison planner, it's a twin row planner. Um, each pair of rows is set up on 30 inches. Uh, each row is 8 inches apart. So, and the concept uh, for twin row is, is, is basically planting two seeds uh, in a staggered manner. Um, that's kind of the twin row concept as, as a rule. What we're doing is we're taking it to the next step uh, to bring in uh, the ability to plant two different hybrids uh, within the same row. The overall system itself, uh, we treat this uh, in a, in a multi-hybrid setup. We do treat this these back six rows as an independent entity and these front six rows as an independent entity as well. So uh, how we view it is it's two planters stacked on top of each other. Uh, these front boxes here would be our, our in, in this case we'll call it hybrid A or variety A. Uh, we would have that set across all six boxes there. We would have the, the second hybrid here and obviously there's a couple different hybrids you're working with, you might be trying to battle some, some uh, sandy soil versus some maybe heavier wet soil. Um, that, that would be the general overall concept as far as the big guys would try that first. That's probably the bigger, bigger bang for, for investment is just trying to battle the moisture within the field. Uh, overall on the, on the display we, we have a lot of values that we enter in but we do take into account all the offsets of the rows, the physical rows themselves. Uh, obviously this is kind of our target center through here. And then, based on the hybrid, we try to drive to that target set. Uh, most of that's for uh, harvest and making sure we're, we're getting the corn so you, you are able to harvest it. Uh, if we were to make an abrupt change, we would have about an 8-inch shift, and, and that would be very difficult for the, for the, for the, uh, the harvester to, to get through that. So, what we do is we, we smooth that out a lot, uh, a bit, uh, within the, the, uh, the population maps that we load, the variable rate population maps. Uh, within those, we have some look-aheads that we, we kind of see that, that zone coming in as we need to make that transition. Uh, what happens is, is the tractor itself will, will actually shift to the center line. Uh, about halfway through that transition, it'll either come from A to B or B to A, depending on what the, what the map needs. So what we do is we have a small transition within the field, uh, which allows that harvester to follow that transition without without damaging the corn or losing corn uh, off the edge of the head. Uh, so that's, that part of it's pretty neat. Um, that part of it uh, was, uh, was really the driving factor behind allowing this to work with this particular planner. Um, in addition to that, because we've treated everything independently, we've got independent motors on independent rows. Uh, we allow the operator to, uh, if, if, if they choose, if they, if they want to plant twin rows, they can. Uh, they could beyond the multi-hybrid, if they wanted to plant one hybrid in a twin row configuration here, uh, you could do that across these rows. If you wanted a single row with that same hybrid next to it, you can also do that as well. Uh, so that's a, a lot of flexibility we've built within, within the software um, uh, with our uh, Invisio Pro Field computer. Uh, some of the major hardware components are very, uh, well, they're the same exact motor that we've been selling for the last three, uh, three years, uh, built off the Omni, uh, Omni Row uh, platform. Uh, so that's exactly the same. The, 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 the valves that run that are exactly the same. None of that's different. Um, we're using the same uh, encoders on the motors, the same, uh, uh, same seed tooth sensors. Uh, all, that, all that's exactly the same. So really uh, the bulk of the uh, the, the technology is wrapped up in, in the display itself and, and how it controls those hybrids. So effectively with this setup we, we really haven't limited the end user or the operator uh, on what he wants to do or doesn't want to do. Uh, so he can kind of make the judge on how he wants to plant the seed, whether he wants to variable rate 
uh, straight rate or if he wants to do multiple hybrids or he's got whatever he wants to do. And he can do it on a on a per row basis or a per planner basis. So what it's it's very flexible for him. In addition to that, we've also worked with them on the, you know, there was the normal needs, the starter fertilizer needs, uh, in furrow starter fertilizer. Uh, we've also got some insecticide in, uh, direct injection on here. Our uh, Sidekick, uh, uh, Sidekick Pro is on here as well. Uh, those functions are all going on all at the same time. Um, and you can variable rate the, 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 the in furrow fertilizer. You can, uh, you can straight rate it. We're, we're not terribly fussy. We don't limit the operator on that either, the end user on that. So lots of flexibility in the system. Uh, Hardware-wise, this is a twin, twin or planner. What we've done is we've we split that functionality out, and we're able to do what we want with it at that point. Um, driving to the rows, that's that's a pretty neat innovation, and that's really just to keep the harvest uh, the harvest side of it smooth or smoother. And uh, the multi-hybrid thing, it's not just a buzzword. We've seen the statistics. The, the seed companies are feeding that. Uh, currently, today, they've got some hardware that's doing it. I, I know there's uh, a handful of folks that have, have had some success with that and tried it. Uh, we're, we're, we're interested in, in pushing the limits on it and, and this, is, uh, this is a great step to do it. So.